the cast on thumb method for beginning knitters. Hi, I'm Kristen and welcome back to my channel, Studio Knit. This cast on thumb method helps you easily begin your knitting stitches. It's a variation on the basic long tail technique without the need to learn the traditional slingshot hold. In just five basic steps, see exactly how to begin casting on any knitting project with this thumb version, giving you attractive edges with a little bit of stretch. And if you enjoy my knitting techniques, please like up this video. Let me know you would like to see more cast on help and it really helps me out. To begin, you are going to prepare to cast on by deciding how long of a yarn tail you will need for your knitting project. Create a slip knot and place it onto your knitting needle. Now make certain that your yarn tail is on the left side while the working yarn, that's the yarn attached to the ball, that is on your right. Now that you have your first stitch on your needle, step one is to grasp the yarn tail with the fingers of your left hand. Wrap the yarn around your thumb by bringing your thumb over the top of the yarn strand and down around. You'll have the yarn originating from the knitting needle to inside your thumb and it wraps around to the outside of your thumb counterclockwise. So let's look at that again before we move on here with step one. We're holding the yarn and our thumb wraps around the yarn tail and it's coming around counterclockwise around the outside of our thumb. Once you've completed step one, let's move on to step two. That is inserting the tip of your knitting needle under the thumb loop to pick up the yarn. So let's just look at that one more time. We're bringing our knitting needle around the outside to pick up the yarn from the thumb loop. Step three, hold the needle with your left hand and wrap the working yarn around the needle counterclockwise with your right hand. Again, we're holding the needle with our left hand, wrapping that working yarn around the needle counterclockwise with our right hand. Step four is passing the thumb loop over the top and around the needle. Step five is just pulling those stitches so that they're hugging your knitting needle. Let's look at four and five again. We're taking the thumb loop and we are passing it over the needle tip and then just make sure that those two yarn tails are pulled so that they are wrapping around your knitting needle with a nice even tension and continue casting on your knitting stitches by repeating steps one through five. You'll see that this gives us the exact same result as the traditional long tail cast on method with the slingshot hold, but this thumb hold is much easier for many beginning knitters, so I hope it's helpful to you. And just a reminder, when we are casting on, we're casting on the wrong side of our work. When we turn our needle and we're ready to get knitting, we are now on the right side of our work. And once you have your stitches cast on, the opportunities are endless for what you can knit. I'd like to remind you that my Knit Stitch Pattern book does have 50 knit and purl stitch patterns that are perfect for beginning knitters. It's organized into sections. It gives you a great full color photo, a knitting chart. It tells you how many stitches to cast on and directions for both knitting flat and in the round. There's some really beautiful and popular patterns in here and I hope you give them a try. I'll have a link to where you can purchase this book both as hard copy and a digital download ebook worldwide. I hope you are inspired to give this cast on thumb method a try. I also have some great knitting technique and more cast on tips and tricks for you. I will see you here next time. Bye.